Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today I'm cracking a pack. I have in front of me two Jumpstart Booster Packs. Over the past couple of Magic the Gathering videos, I've opened two Jumpstart Booster Packs and put together deck number one in my Jumpstart Booster Pack Battle Royale. Now, I've got two more Jumpstart Booster Packs to open and put together deck number two. Let's get to cracking this pack. All right, for the reveal of the deck, it's going to be Archaeology, another blue deck. So our Battle Pack Royale is going to have two different blue decks. If I can get it open. For the great reveal of our rare and mythic rare, will it be something awesome? It is Scholar of the Lost Trove. Seven mana, five and two blue, five five flying sphinx. When Scholar of the Lost Trove enters the battlefield, you may cast target instant sorcery or artifact card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If an instant or sorcery spell cast this way would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Looks like the archaeology deck is going to be built for the long game. So I can get Scholar of the Lost Trove down and cast one of those goody instant sorceries or artifact spells from my graveyard. Buried Ruin. Uncommon land. You can tap it out of colorless. You can pay two, tap it, sacrifice it, return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. I get the sense this is going to have an artifact based theme. Hedron Archive, great card from Battle for Zendikar. Either add two colors to your mana pool or sacrifice and draw two cards. Juggernaut, classic Juggernaut. Four generic mana for a 5-3 attacker. Has to attack each turn and it can't be blocked by walls. Meteor Golem, another one of my draft favorites. For seven generic mana, you get a 3-3 body, but when it enters the battlefield, you destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Thirst for Knowledge, three mana, two and a blue, instant, draw three cards, then discard two cards unless you discard an artifact card. Already I'm liking the synergy of this deck. Aether Spellbomb, single generic mana, single blue mana, sacrifice Aether Spellbomb, return target creature to its owner's hand. One generic mana sacrifice, Aether Spell Bomb, draw a card. I like drawing cards. Ancestral Statue, four generic mana. Artifact Creature Golem, three, four. When Ancestral Statue enters the battlefield, return a non-land permanent you control to its owner's hand. Hopefully there's a few enter the battlefield synergies. Chromatic Sphere. One generic mana artifact. For one generic mana, you can tap it, sacrifice chromatic sphere, add one mana of any color, draw a card. Card draw and artifacts. Archaeomender, three mana, two and a blue, human wizard at two, three. When Archaeomender enters the battlefield, return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, two Archaeomanders. I didn't know that the jumpstart boosters had duplicates. Interesting. Erratic Visionary, two mana, one and a blue, human wizard at one three. You can pay one and a blue and tap it, draw a card, then discard a card. Lightning Core Excavator, one generic mana. Golem at zero three. You can pay five generic mana, tap it, sacrifice Lightning Core Excavator. It deals three damage to any target. Little expensive damage spell, but it's all generic mana. And then the Thriving Isle, so it enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, choose a color other than blue. Tap it to add one blue or one mana of the chosen color. I love the Thriving Lands. I think they're undervalued. I'd love to see them in standard block sets.
Then we have our special island that's based on the archaeology deck. Little artifact in the middle. And then we're going to have a whole bunch of Corset 21 islands. All right. Pretty cool deck. I don't know synergy wise how it's going to go, but it definitely looks like the fun half of the deck. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Take some time to tell me in the comment section what was your favorite card or best card of the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack the second Jumpstart Booster Pack so we can find out what our second deck will be in our Jumpstart Booster Pack Battle Royale.